I get back on the bus, but the bus driver doesn't count do the thing where like we're on a British bus or a European bus, they would count them people. It's just like, right, okay, off we go. That's the five minutes. And there's four people still in the gas station shop buying drinks because they're dehydrated from this over hot yeah. bus and just drive off. And everybody on the bus is shouting, stop, stop, you're leaving people behind. The bus driver literally just drives off and leaves them. What? At, at the gas station in the middle of nowhere. And then, so the weirdest thing is, I, I, I didn't realise how infrequent these buses were. So the next day, I'm, I am I get off at Greenville, do my show, which was a great show and everything. Yeah. It was really cool. Um, really awesome gallery place that I played. Yeah. Anyway, get get dropped off the bus, and again, it's three hours late. And I'm sort of standing around chatting to a few people at the, at the thing. And then the, there's this guy, a couple of guys and, and a girl who were like, oh, yeah, they look, they look frazzled. And I'm like, <laughs> frazzled. And, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, oh yeah. So this is like, we were supposed to be on the bus yesterday, but we got left. And I was like, I was on that bus. And I was like, guy no, sitting next to me, like, I said, I was on the. So all their staff went, and the bus was going from Atlanta to New York. It's oh. a long week away. Oh. So, like, one guy had no wallet, had no money because his wallet was on the bus oh in God. his coat. One guy didn't have his phone because his phone was in his coat in the bus and the bag. One guy lost his bike. So, like, the one guy who had his wallet paid for a hotel room for four of them for a night. That's crazy. They all shared beds and stuff. And then they were trying to get to New York to find all their shit. It's just mental. It's like, drove off without them. And they'd had to buy a ticket. Do you know what's happening about that, though, is the one guy with the wallet doing that. Yeah. That because he doesn't have to, you know what I mean? No, he doesn't have to. No, no, he was really. No, they were all really nice, and they'd all like clubbed together. It was like kind of human spirit. Of, so all, but yeah, it was it was it was quite bizarre. And I mean, I'm genuinely bizarre. And then my journey the next day, like that that one was three hours late again. Um, consistent though. Yeah, consistent, and um, so I'm like, I've got a two and a half hour layover before my my connection. And I literally get on the bus and I'm like, said to the driver, when we stop at a stop, I'm like, realistically, I've got a two and a half hour uh, connection. Am I going to make it? And she's like, no. <laughs> like, really dead straight, like, no, we're not going to make it. And it was like, I was like, okay, so I've got to figure out that. Um, and I was like, all right, get some, go and buy some cigarettes and like, yeah, go and buy some cigarettes and then I'll, I'll figure out how the fuck I'm going to do this. So I go to buy some cigarettes and the woman in the gas station, bless her, jobs worth, or, or, she's, uh, she's like, she's like I, ID, so I get my passport out. <laughs> ID for cigarettes. Like, clearly I'm over... What's the age six, limit there for smoking? I think it's like 18 or something, 18, 16, I think, 18. I mean, I'm anyway, not being funny. It's like, it's like I, ID. ID. So I show her my passport, and she said, "No, this doesn't count." I said, "Well, it does because it's a passport." Oh. She's like, "No, I need, I need ID your US ID card." I'm oh. like, "I'm from here. I'm from England. This is a British passport. This is valid ID." No, it isn't. I need an ID card. She was like, "So, like, that's what she'd been told she needed to take oh. for cigarettes." And I was just like, oh, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't imagine you losing it, to be fair. Yeah, I just said, oh, fuck you, you fucking jobs worth. Literally, yeah. I want to buy some cigarettes yeah. with British ID. I'm clearly over the age. I you need to feed are... my addiction, which is um, yeah. nicotine. You are an idiot. Yeah, you, you are an idiot. You're and, feeding um, yours, which is just being horrible. <laughs> and she just, like, stared at me. Like, did, Oh, did like, she give you the, it's me face stinger. bothered? Yeah, like stink high or something, but I was like, I walked out, I just walked out and stuff. So we're like, oh shit, so no smokes, no smokes, <laughs> no smokes, and then no idea of how I'm going to get to this gig. Tim, how are you still here? At that point, I might have just stepped in front of the Greyhound, you know? Oh, out of the way. so I managed, I managed to work out, got to Charlotte, and Charlotte was like 45 minutes drive away from where the venue was, because... The bus actually went past where oh. the town I was playing in. Another job's worth won't let drop you off. <laughs> um, and they wouldn't, yeah, they wouldn't let drop me off. Oh my God. Uh, of course. So goes past, and then I had to get the connection bus down back the other way. 
Sorry, I thought America, I thought USA was built on customer service and have a nice day and all that stuff. What's, something's changed big style, isn't it? Yeah, America's got very all for your own. Um, so yeah, so anyway, so I got I, I got an Uber, which was kind of pricey. <laughs> um, uh, but you had uh, saved on a tour manager, so... Yeah, yeah. Ew. So I got I got this Uber, and bless them, the venue were really, really sweet, and uh, they uh, they put in for my Uber. They actually paid for my Uber, because I got there on time, in time for sound check, in fact, because I was only going to get there in time for showtime. In fact, the first act would have already been on, had I caught the bus. So getting the Uber was actually the better option. <laughs> The universe provided again. It's all that stuff. Like I keep saying, yeah. turn, turn up for something that's been planned. The person that you were supposed to meet has pulled the wool over your eyes, basically, when you get there, and you're not going to get any money. And then suddenly something else pops up and sorts you yeah. money out. I don't know. How that I goes. mean, there was so many. Like it was so. It was so nice. The next day, actually, after that one, the one where I'd had the really lovely gig, and they they paid for the Uber and everything. Yeah. The next day, the guy goes. We were chatting that night, and the guy goes, "Oh, you don't have to get the greyhound at six o'clock in the morning. There's like one greyhound where I'm yeah. supposed to be going." He's like, "Yeah, no, there's a train there," and it was like, so it was like forty six dollars for the the greyhound at, yeah. at six o'clock in the morning. It was nineteen dollars, and they went every two hours the train. Oh, what? That's the way. And I, so I was like, I was like, I'm, I'm taking the train. I'm having a lie. <laughs> and do you know, I've spent the last well since the. 8th of November on a train 